Hi everyone, today we're going to be performing photometry with Maxim DL. Let's open up the program and we're going to go to File, Open, and open today's images. Select Lab Image, and the images for the day. Shift and click to open all. It's going to take a second for them to open. In photometry, in addition to um, having your target object whose brightness change you want to study, you also want to have a reference star in the field whose brightness is known that is not going to change um, that you can enter so that you can study in every single image compared to the reference star, what is the brightness of your target. So in these images, this is our target object whose brightness we want to study. This is our reference star whose brightness is known. We're going to go to Analyze, Photometry. Under the Select tab, you want to Add Files. If it says Add Images, use the drop-down menu to select Add Files. Shift and click to open all your images again within the Photometry task. Quality is an option where you can exclude certain frames that might have um, a imperfection like a cosmic ray um, or a high full with half maximum. We're not going to worry about that today, but it is an option that exists. Under match, you want to make sure that you have auto star matching. So this is making sure that in every image, um, if the object of interest or the reference star moves a little bit within the field of view, you're always going to be extracting the brightness of the target, extracting the breath brightness of the reference star, regardless of if these objects are moving or not, you're always going to want to make sure that you're actually studying the object that you want to. Under the Identify tab, you want to click through to New Object Group. If for any reason Group is not selected, you want to use the drop-down menu to click Apply to Group. New Object Group is what you want. Click on your object of interest. Enter its name. Then click through tag mode to new reference star group and click on your reference star. Enter its name and then click tab. On your keyboard, hit tab and enter the magnitude, the known um, brightness of the reference star. And finally hit graph and a light curve will be calculated for both your object of interest but also your reference star. And here we have that light curve of our object of interest and our flat light curve of our reference star of you know, brightness that does not change. So every one of these points, every pair of points represents a single image. In a single image, what was the brightness of the object of interest? What was the brightness of the reference star? And this is Photometry with Maxim.